All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, I want to talk about, this is just, um, I, I probably will do another kind of version of these, maybe in like a week or so, or, or a little bit longer. But uh, the first thing I want to do is I just want to really put it on wax in like a video title and stuff like that. How utterly horrible the pity is for Dokkan Fest banners. Um, I thought that the, the pity for the Yellow Queen LRs was very good, right? But this pity is horrible. Now, I, I say that, I mean, it's mostly more for, like, myself that the pity is really bad. Like, this hurts me a lot. Because I, you know, go into this and it's like, no matter what, I'm getting five copies of Vegeta and five copies of Kui. They made it way more difficult to individually pull Vegeta and Kui at kind of like the, the the compensation, of course, being you get a guaranteed Vegeta at a thousand stones. For free to play players and low spending players, I do think this is actually good, right? So that's why again, like this is horrible, but it's it's like with conditions. For me, it's terrible. For free to play players, it's good. Now, I mean, you guys never ever should have been spending stones on every single banner that comes out anyway. But if you're a free to play player. This will now allow you to be able to target, like, you know, as long as you just are very smart with your stones, which you're going to have to be, you'll be able to guaranteed get these characters and not have to rely on the, the BS of having, like, really bad pools and stuff like that. So, again, say you're the world's biggest PyCon fan and like, the next Dokkan Fest PyCon comes up. Like, you'll be ready to get them, you know, provided you've got your thousand zones. Or, again, if you're a light spending player, I, I assume... They're thinking the logic, the reasoning with this is truly that, like, you know, an idiot like me is going to rainbow them no matter how bad the banner gets. Like, I'm just going to go until they're rainbowed, and then that that's that. Like, that's that. That's how it's going to go. Um, whereas this could potentially probably, I, I guess, try and persuade, again, like, low spenders to, okay, well, no matter what, I know once I hit a thousand stones, I'll be able to get Vegeta guaranteed. I, I guess that's kind of the intention here i mean they do do scummy stuff occasionally it is a gotcha game unfortunately none of these gotcha games are immune from doing boneheaded tactics to try and appease higher ups with even more profits or whatever the dumbass shit it is um but this video is going to be two things again i wanted to kind of ex like talk in depth about the pity coin and how it sucks but i also want to kind of go over various things that have happened like kind of in conjunction with the sink good and bad well I mean, really, this is the only bad thing. Uh, but again, I this is like, it's again, it's bad for me as like a whale. But I, this is not a bad change, I don't think, for free to play players. I mean, maybe the banner does have a lot of shitty characters on it. So uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at this. Yep, yep, yep. Vegeta. There's all that good stuff. So remember, there is this as well, which I guess I I, I really shouldn't kind of like gloss over this. So, up to the 21st multi, you're guaranteed to recruit a featured SSR character every three summons. I mean, that sounds good, but, I, I mean, in my experience, that means I'm going to walk out of here with 10 Android 21s, right? Like, that's, or, or you're going to walk out of here, because the, the point is, they extended this to seven units. A typical banner, like a typical just like Dokkan Fest TUR banner um, is seven characters, is what it is, so if we take, I just want to look at the last, I'll just pull them up, Master Roshi and Rose, let me just pull those two up, all right, here we go, so here's the Rose banner, um, and this was obviously different on global, but whatever, so it's, yeah, 21 again, huh, Jesus Christ, okay, so here's what these banners would look like, seven units, and of course, you do have some stinkers on here, oh my god, this guy's back again so soon too, Jesus Christ, all right, but yeah, you guys see how uh, seven units and, you know, there's some stinkers, but, you know, you've got like these three, which are newish. Um, here's the Roshi banner. Again, same thing. This is what a typical one of these look like. Seven units. Videl was the easy character. This, these guys are semi-useful. Same with God Goku. And then obviously Topo, Roshi are good. Bunny Bulma's good. And then now this is what these are going to look like, I guess, is they're now going to be 10 unit banners. And it's just like, uh, like you start to get a bunch of these characters, man, like, transforming vegeta i wish he was not here uh like super vegeta as well the blues like damn like I, they really couldn't have just given us seven units huh so it's like the pity it's like 
I, I, I don't know. Overall, it's going to make it t- harder for whales to pull. <laughs> right. In particular, Kui. Like, like the banner unit is going to be annoying. Because no, I'm always, like, just speaking for myself just for a second. I'm always only going to have to pull four of the main banner unit. Right. But now I still got to get five of, or four of the main Dokkan Fest or LR or whatever it is. But now the banner unit. I, I gotta still get five of those, but now the rates have plummeted for the banner unit. So it's like, I don't know. Back when I went eleven thousand stones in between copies of the Tech Piccolo and Gohan, like we you know, that was on a ten unit banner, the Dokkan Fest R UI Goku banner. So we we could see that happen again. I can't wait. I can't wait. Eventually it's gonna happen again. Bullshit, but whatever. All right. So there's that. I mean, I feel like that mostly covers. Uh, talking about the pity, again, there is the guaranteed characters that you get after a couple of multis and stuff like that. Um, remember that Global, of course, is going to have the peel-off shop stuff, which is permanently a Global W. I'd love to get that stuff on JP, but uh, maybe it is just simply, like, a thing where you're not able to get it, um, like, like, I, I guess, uh, like, country laws or something like that uh, could be it. Now, here's the thing, too, is that these also do give... The, the pity coins as well, too. That's crazy. Okay. Yep, so there's that. Look at that. Um, again, talked about the banner, all that good stuff. Uh, I did want to point this out real quick. This is not the biggest deal ever, but again, with this video, I do kind of want to summarize a lot of these differences with Global and JP. So they're changing the banner, for, the Elder Kai banner format on JP to be just like Global, which is a good thing. It's not like any difference in true value but here's what the banners look like on jp before you could do you know 50 stones 10 elder kais you could do it twice the global is four summons five elder kais 25 stones the global one is better because it but it's not like there's not like really a difference in value or anything like that but like if you only need at seven elder kai like you know like you you guys see what i'm saying like they're it's now four multis of five instead of two multis of ten. So it just gives you as a player more options, which is better. This is not something that's a super big deal. But again, I just wanted to cover all the little like differences and things that are happening as a result of the sync. That's one of them. Uh, this is gigantic right here. So a huge issue that a lot of players had um, was the skip battlefields. Now, people are going to be talking about stones. I It's... It is difficult to account for, like, all the different stones from, like, missions and stuff like that. Because even with Worldwide, like, once the final stuff came in, it started to get actually a lot closer to what the other Worldwides look like. Like, I'm saying, like, the EX part, the Gogeta and Genema stuff. Like, once that came in, it looked a lot closer. I, I mean, you know, people get mad at me, but in my opinion, this is the most important thing, is the battlefield currency. The stones could easily be made up for million different places not really the battlefield currency though so what we have here is bonus missions i saw someone did tweet out a screenshot of this too i'm gonna grab that in a second so because certain editions are skipped for the international version due to the unification of operation schedules uh bonus missions are available for this one the next battlefield and the battlefield after that uh and then chance to clear the stages to get extra battlefield memories for the bonus missions Clearing all the stages, you get up to 168,000. So a lot of the big, like, kerfuffle, I guess, or whatever we want to say, related to the Battlefield stuff, in the end, is not going to be that big of a deal because they're going to close the gap with this. So that's going to be, what, 168 times 3 is what that is? I I imagine there's still... So it's going to be 504,000. I imagine there's still some currency that's missing, but this at least does take... Um, a significant chunk out of the huge stuff that Global is missing. Uh, again, I did see a, a screenshot of this. Hold on. All right, so here we go. So we got the actual missions themselves and what they look like. So defeat the first enemy in level one, clear level one, first enemy level two, second enemy level two, clear level two. So it's just the normal. Just just finish it off. And then here's all of the extra uh, bonus uh, currency that's going to be there. That's good. Again, that does take the sting out of uh, skipping a lot of the missed um, battlefield stuff like that. So with this right here. So uh, regarding the unification editions of virtual Dokkan clashes and world tournaments. 
Um, so along with the unification of schedules, editions will be unified with the Japanese version starting from the 3rd. So it's the 79th and the 55th, which is going to be the, the, the same on both versions. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's, that's good for them to just do. Just like, whatever, we're just skipping ahead. So that's exactly the same number on each version. That, that, that's, that's definitely a good idea. So there's that. Uh, then, of course, the Friend Summon revamp is happening as well. So uh, this is something... Global's gotten various different iterations of this where you're able to get Kai's and stuff like that from these Friend Summons. I'll probably do a video where I'll just test this out and I'll do summons until my box space gets filled up. Um, I think probably just seeing how, like what the rate is for Kai's people were saying the, the rates to get Kai's is very bad. Um, I'll test it out again. Th this is the first time anything has happened with the friend banner on JP since August of 2018. I mentioned it before, but while summoning for great salmon one and two, I was watching like con footage, like, like games con, like one of those types of things. And it was Resident Evil 2 remake footage, like like a couple of months before it came out. That's how long ago this shit was. A million years ago. Um, so I'll definitely do this and we'll see. I mean, this should be good. So now that, you know, there is actually, you know, good incentive, you know, with your friend points, you'll be able to get Elder Kai's and stuff like that, along with Zenny statues. So Zenny and Kai's is something you could get from friend points from now on, which is good. Uh, I did want to point this out too. Uh, we'll see exactly how this is going to work, if it's going to permanently work like this. But it does seem like the new time for things to drop is going to be this time right here, which is three hours earlier than the usual JP time and an hour and a half earlier than the usual global time is what it looks like. Um, overall, I, I don't really have much of an opinion on the time change, if it's good or bad. The only thing I care about is exact time on both versions is what we're looking for. Speaking of, by the way, there is one other bad thing, though, um, which I, again, I make sure to make tweets on these so I can pull them up for videos, one of the biggest things. This right here. So, right now, JP gets their um, celebration info and, I guess, new celebration missions. It's at 11 a.m. my time. Global, I believe, gets these things at 8 p.m. my time. I, I really would hope that they would maybe unify that or maybe just change it to where the missions don't go live on JP and global until like, like when the banner would go live like this time. I, Cause I, I, it just, I hate it. I hate that stuff. It, like anything drops on either version at a different time should not happen. I, I, I don't like it. I think everything on JP should be in global at the same time and vice versa. So hopefully this can be altered at some point to where like, you know, all this information we should be getting at the same time, right? And that, you know, even EZA characters seems like at the moment they still only tweet it out on JP, which is just silly and foolish. So there's that. Uh, and then finally, so this, I'm not, I don't know. It didn't seem like they actually changed a lot of stuff. I, I it, it was, I don't know. It's, it's odd. Because, like, if we look at, like, Goku Black... At, like, he's still super different. I mean, I guess, it, like, it's not the biggest deal ever if, like, these older characters... Like, besides Goku Black, most of these characters are not relevant. Besides this Goku Black right here. So, it's not the biggest deal. And we know all characters moving forward are going to be exactly the same. So, again, it's not the biggest deal. But, like... At, like, look... At, dude... Okay, so here's the JP version. Look at the stats. 19,000 HP. 19,000 HP on Global. But look at the attack... Dude, look at the attack difference. It's still massively different. So, I don't know. No clue. No clue whatsoever. Um, the difference, I mean, obviously, is the base attack right there. That's why. Globals is very low and JP's is much higher. That's the difference in attack. No clue why why they still left some of these differences here. Again, I mean, this Goku Black is aged very fast because they gave him one of the worst mechanics you could have, which is having to get hit. Right, that's still like the one negative about even like LR Cell Max. Having to get hit to build up is just a dreadful, dreadful ability with how hard bosses hit usually right away. It's just terrible. And it I mean it, it it's a character this is a slot two character who has to get hit. No consistency to that whatsoever. So it's just very bad. Um, but there we go. That covers I think basically everything. 
uh, a lot of the, the kind of like small, subtle differences, um, you know, we, we explain the pity. Uh, it's like it's good and bad. The banner itself is way worse. But again, for free to play players and light spending players, I think the pity is going to be a good thing. I mean, a lot of people are going to be mad that they can't just throw stones at every single banner, but it's a gotcha. They're trying to take your money, man. Like you got to you got to be smart. You can't summon on every single banner. It's literally not the way these games work, right? Unless you're paying big bucks. So uh, let me know what you guys think of everything. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.